there was one person chosen from before the foundation of the world. Born in 1800s Japan. And in 1918, he was on death row for his crimes in Tokyo. His name was Tokishi Ishii, and he was hung that year for murder. Before he, had been sent, uh, before he was sent to death row, he had been sent to, uh, to prison more than 20 times. I'm reading a story. He was as tough as men get. In response to his hatred and his violence, on one occasion, after attacking a prison guard in jail, he was bound and gagged and then hung from the ceiling so that his toes barely reached the ground. That's not his death sentence, that's just torture. Before receiving his death sentence, he received a New Testament sent by two Christian missionaries, Mrs. West and Miss MacDonald, resulting in the notorious criminals coming to know Jesus Christ as the saviour of sinners. When Tokishi was sentenced to death, he accepted this as the just and fair, impartial judgment of God upon his life, as he should. But during a visit, Miss West directed him to read 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 8 to 10, which deals with suffering. And Mr. Ishii noted, among other things, that line, poor, yet making many rich, as Paul described himself. And then he asked for pen and paper and wrote this down. This certainly does not apply to all the evil I led before I repented. But, but perhaps in the future, someone in the world may hear that the most desperate villain who ever lived repented of his sins and was saved by the power of Christ, and so may come also to repent of their sins. Then it may be said that though I am poor myself, I shall be able to make many rich. Our brother, Mr. Ishii, is in heaven right now. Would you honor the Lord's design in his death? Would you honor the Lord's design in Paul's life and testimony? Would you honor the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ by recognizing you deserve death, you are unrighteous, you are evil, but in Christ there is grace overflowing for the likes of you and that he has removed every excuse that you could ever come up with to not be saved, and he calls you and beckons you, come up, rise, come to me. There are 10,000 charms in my arms, and I give them to you for free.